Hey guys, wanted to give you guys a quick update on uh, some of the tuning progress that I've made on the uh, third gen Dodge Ram trucks. Uh, the first one is on the fly tuning for 2004 and a half through 2007 year uh, model year trucks. So basically I have, um, I have on the fly tuning now available on my website. Um, and historically that has uh, been kind of a problem um, a lot of the, the parameters that were listed as on the fly tunable were actually not. So it's taken me a while to figure out how to get around all that and make some um, tunes that will reliably switch between each other uh, as you're driving. And the second thing is uh, the 2004 and 2005 trucks. When you use the function to um, convert the tow haul switch to an overdrive off switch, you of course lose the ability to use those tow haul maps. So basically you have one set of uh, shift maps and then you have the option to turn overdrive off. Well, I figured out a way for you to be able to use the uh, tow haul maps uh, and it requires the addition of a switch on your dashboard that goes to your ECM, but it's uh, overall pretty easy to install and it will give you um, another option for towing or just daily driving if you like um, a little bit higher set of shift points and uh, it's it's uh, relatively cheap also it only will probably cost you uh, 10 to 20 dollars and this is all included in the tuning that I'm doing anyway so um, with that I'll give you a little bit of history of how this works so several years ago Smarty came out with the uh, Smarty Touch and the MM3 tuner and the difference is the Smarty Touch comes with canned tunes and does not come with a COM mod. Um, at the time of the invention of the Smarty Touch and the MM3 tuner, the COM mod did not exist. Uh, and that was later added in when they determined that um, they needed access to the CAN C uh, wires that go into the ECM and that, that would enable them to make on the fly tuning. So we'll take a quick tour through my website here, um, mm3tuning.com. So if you go to mm3tuning.com, uh, all of my tunes are available there. You can buy um, a Smarty MM3, you can get the EGT kit, uh, and you can get your choice of tuning packages uh, for your uh, 2003 up to 2007 model year trucks. And the first thing is you'll notice this pop up here. This is new. I have um, the only true 12 valve tune on the market. And as I stated before, the 2004 and 2005 trucks now have tow haul and overdrive off modes available. Um, I call it the true 12 valve tune because I uh, found some um, sneaky parameters in there that will uh, re-enable the pilot injection on a 12 valve tune. So basically they take it out of 12 valve or single injection event mode and uh, they give you a pilot injection under certain circumstances um, and I've located those uh, parameters. Those parameters are not available in any of the main tuning platforms, EFI Live, HP Tuners, it's not even available in UDC Pro, which is what I use. Uh, I have to use um, secondary software to get access to those parameters and deactivate them. So that um, that's available on my website. I'll click out of that. So yeah, there's uh, some of my latest customers. Um, Seth's 2004 and a half, Black Pearl he calls it. Good looking truck, he bought the 12 off performance tune. Uh, Steve's 04 and a half long bed up in Oregon. And uh, he just left a review on the website. He went for a tow um, over the coastal range in Oregon and absolutely loved the tuning. That's one of my favorite pictures right there. I like that. Richard's 24 and a half, or 2004 and a half. Um, Auto. He's from Southern California and he bought the total package, which is what I'm going to show you, and the on-the-fly add-on, which is what you need to get um, this on-the-fly tuning enabled. So if we go down, scroll down on the main page, it takes you right to the products there. Uh, the first one listed is a total tuning package, and I put that on there first because it's the best value. You get five tunes uh, at $75 off of the individual tune pricing. And so basically you get um, you get the tow tune, you get a MPG tune, 12 valve tune, 12 valve high performance tune, and a street tune. Um, and then if you go back out, um, you can add, actually I think it might be on the bottom here. Shift on the fly package right there. If you add that on, 
that will get you a set of real-time files that you can shift between all five of those tunes on the fly. Now moving over to the tow hall maps, uh, and I said that you have to install a switch. Um, basically you need this pigtail from Cummins, it's an ECM repair kit, but it has the plug that fits down into the ECM connector. So we're basically required to take a blank out of the existing ECM connector, creating a hole for this plug to go into in the right wire there. And then you'll wire this guy up to uh, just a rocker switch that goes up to the dashboard and the other side of the rocker switch goes to ground. And when that switch is activated, it tells the ECM that you want the tow hall maps. So it's a pretty cool option. So let's go out and, uh, and take a look at this and uh, I'll give you a little demonstration. So basically what happens when you place an order, especially for the total tune package and the on the fly shifting is I will um, take your stock file that you have to send to me and then I will apply it to my tunes and create a tuning package for you and then I will send it to you via uh, Google Drive and you download it, unzip it and simply co copy uh, the custom folder onto the custom folder in your uh, SD card up here in your uh, MM3 and what that will do is it gets you your five tunes which you will see here so I, I have some uh, other tunes on there that because I'm always playing around trying to make things better um, but basically you have your MPG street toe 12 valve and 12 valve high performance so all you need to do is flash the one that you want uh, and then you flash that the traditional way and if you are driving around or parked whatever with the engine running to switch on the fly all you need to do is go to the RT menu RT custom power levels and then you have all your options here and you can switch on the fly So I'll show you how that works. Right now I love the uh, 12 valve high performance tune. That's what I run in daily, so we'll start it up. And you can definitely hear that uh, 12 valve tune. So now let's say you want to go, you want to tow your trailer, but you don't want to take the time to do a, a full flash. So then you just go here, RT, RT custom power levels, tow, and now it's going to flash it. And it takes about 20 seconds to do this. It doesn't require any switches on the dash or anything like that. I don't know if you caught that, but um, my 12 valve tunes are set for an 800 RPM idle and it just dropped down to 750 because that is what the stock tuning has. So this is not stock tuning, but it has a stock idle speed. And you should notice a definite difference in the sound of the engine here. It sounds more like a stock idle. Now if you want to go back, you have a couple different options. You can either hit RT custom power levels and flash something else over top of it. But I always recommend just to keep things tidy, you have a real time reset button down here. Now watch what happens when I hit that and listen. There you go. So I went back up to 800 and the pilot injection cut out made the appropriate changes in the ECM to run a single injection event tune. So we'll go for a little drive here. Now this is the kind of switch that I was talking about uh, to get your tow hall maps. You'll need a switch like this. This act is actually my exhaust brake switch, which I uh, figured out how to make an exhaust brake work with a stock ECM. So my switch does something different, but if you wire the switch up according to the instructions I provide, you'll get your tow hall maps back. set up here to switch and I'll switch us over to the MPG tune once we 
get out here on a straightaway. say we want to just go to the regular 12 valve tune there it goes Alright, back on 12 valve. Just for fun, I'll give you a little demonstration of my ECM controlled exhaust brake here. If I switch down into manual second, we'll get a torque converter lockup a lot sooner without breaking the speed limit here, and I'll be able to uh, show you how the exhaust brake works. There went torque converter lockup, so as soon as that thing locks up, we can use the exhaust brake. And that's also something I can tune up for the uh, 04 and a half to 2005 trucks if you request it. It requires some really specific tuning to do that, but it's available.